this was on camera, that it was being broadcast to a lot of people, and you saw testimony. Elaine, Amber's lawyer, started building crazy conspiracies when she was cross-examining Johnny's witness. She started by implying that the witness was a huge fan of Depp and that was why he had come to defend Depp since he's a fan. But then the witness proved her wrong by stating that he wasn't a fan of Johnny whatsoever and didn't even care about him. When he tried explaining to her about that night and she cut him off rudely and continued with her questions. Since he denied being a fan of Johnny, she had to switch her tactics and told him that he had wanted to come and testify. Participate in this trial, didn't you? I did not. I you was knew? asked by the attorney and I wanted to, they um, asked me and I said I'll be happy. He also declined this and said that when the bodyguard talked about the Hicksville trailer, two of his fellow workers who had been at Hicksville that day contacted Johnny's attorneys and told them that that wasn't what had happened that night. So Johnny's attorney asked if they could contact the person who had been there personally and that's how the witness decided to come and say the truth of what happened that night. You knew this was on camera, that it was being broadcast to a lot of people, and you saw testimony, did you not in this case, and you seized the moment and responded to the umbrella guy, the lead person for Mr. Depp's Twitters. When he denied that too, she decided to force him to accept the fact that since he knew that the trial was on social media and that everything was being broadcasted, he wanted to come to the trial so he seized the opportunity by tweeting to the umbrella guy about the Hickstall event. But the witness denied even knowing the umbrella guy or even following him. He said that when his friends told him that Hickstall trailer had been mentioned in court, he decided to check tweets regarding the case. And that's how he came across the umbrella guy's tweet where he commented on it explaining that he was at Hickstall that day and it wasn't Johnny who was being jealous but Amber. Amber attorney was trying everything she could to make sure that this rebuttal witness was not allowed to testify. When he denied knowing the umbrella guy, she accused him of following an account that supports Johnny in which he denied too. You do follow a Twitter called Johnny Depp fan, don't you? Absolutely not. You don't? That's your testimony no. under oath? It is my testimony under oath. All right. She then told him that he had watched Johnny testify about Hicksville in which he replied that he didn't. She then started accusing him of personally knowing Johnny since he had worked with Johnny's first wife back in 1999. When she noticed that him working with Johnny's wife had nothing to do with his witnessing, she tried to link him to the Umbrella Guy on Twitter when he denied those claims saying he's never met the Umbrella Guy and doesn't even know him. She then tried accusing him of tweeting about Elon Musk. Four days after that, you tweeted Something pretty nasty about Elon Musk, didn't you? I did. Okay, thank you. So you don't like Elon Musk, right? Objection. Well. Now what has the witness tweets about Elon Musk have anything to do with his testimony of the Hicksville event? Elon Musk wasn't even there and it wasn't until a couple of years later that Elon and Amber dated. Amber's lawyer has tried making conspiracies in court with the aim of getting Johnny's rebuttal witness out of the trial but it hasn't worked. She should just stick to facts and the truth if she wants to be of any help to Amber. Anyways that's it for this video, see you in the next one.